what I will start off by saying is I do think I was too harsh on Ojinju, the judge. I just think, yeah, too harsh. Still don't like her character, but in this show, that means something different than it probably would for a lot of shows. When I say I don't like a character, it it's a good thing because it means they're giving you the desired reaction, where in the show, you're not supposed to really like many characters, if any at all. You're supposed to not trust anyone 100%. It's just, we'll see what she does, because she wants the fame and the adulation, but does she actually know what is really going on? Because she is the voice behind the messages. Or is she just the messenger? So we'll see what happens in the later episodes if they really put her into this certain light or she fully realises what's going on around her. And yeah, we lost certain characters and you kind of, you have to feel bad for them because they were just, they had nothing left, did they? That's why they spoke about being empty shells. Honestly, I think that is my favourite episode. Those last few minutes, draw, drop him. I, I spoke in the last episode how they weren't going to get rid of her because they were making it seem like those two were going to grow all together, you know, after everything in society has kind of changed and they've got rid of the people in power. No. But this goes in theme of how dark the show is. Ah, <sighs> uh, Beautiful episode. We lost a few people. They were taken, some died. Some were taken to the dream village, uh, this whole f spread of a virus, and obviously people believe whatever they see on media. That's the big issue is you've got to f sometimes dig deeper to find the truth because media can spin anything into one direction, the right or the left. And in this moment, they were revealing the truth. Uh, I said before, and I was really way too harsh on Judge O. Ho Jin Ju. Well, this was her episode, for the most part, until the end. Uh, she did a good job, the actress, in highlighting the... She's such a good actor, because the way she would highlight just little movements of her eyes, her realising the things she believed in, she was being spoon-fed and she was being manipulated, and I think it took to see it, to have Aon speak to her, just everything for her to realise I'm being duped. It was a, an intense episode because he was on such a back foot, Kangohan. And Ilya led in them in the house. I know she's met her, but come on. And then you could figure out that there was something wrong with the blood. I'm really worried for Ilya because there's still three episodes they could kidnap her. Ah, I don't know how they're going to spin this about were these lies or not but the thing is they turned all the stuff off but people's phones were still filming it so they were seeing it live that little weasel that actor is phenomenal as this weasel and also because his face would have been on camera won't people be suspicious and go i thought he was sentenced but wasn't he on tag and he's still able to do all this all these people notice how the president also had a bamboo stick well i wouldn't i should apply stick i wouldn't uh yeah and I guess that was the Bamboo Spearman at the end. Who the hell is he? He kind of just came into it. I'm guessing he's a trained assassin that's been around for a while. Unless, I don't know, there's got to be some sort of reveal about who that is. It's such a good episode. that It brought about the whole destruction of society. And like something that I really despise is those who have wealth who look down upon people who don't. And who treat them like they're nothing. And they're worthless. And notice the president spoke about how 10, ver uh, 10 million people versus 10,000. But those 10,000 will build. And all of a sudden people will disappear. He was creating a martial law. You know, he was literally putting everything in their power to say, if you don't follow our rules, you don't do what we say, you will be arrested. Highest charge of murder as well. It's like, so what if I, like my baby was screaming and needed formula? 
uh, and I needed to go to shop because I didn't have any there, and you saw me out and I told you, would I be arrested? Would, and then my baby would starve to death. There's, they are they, the control that they have, but I will say Chong Sana, watching her was really fascinating as well because she's the way they spoke to her as if because she, she's a woman like there's a lot of misogyny from them and because once they have power the way they act but sh she was realizing just what's going on and you know like the power she thinks she's got they gave to her and they will take away and they can change it he's the president he can make anything about her uh, i just wonder what those four chunks are the other three men, or also her system, what they're going to do, because it, like, this is where it starts, right? Because they kind of back and forth, like they have the power, but now the broadcast has really hopefully changed people's opinions, but there's three episodes left. So I guess a final confrontation wouldn't really happen until episode 15, 16, but what happens in 14? Like, who did they take out? I There's so many characters you just want to see die in this obviously not not the actors but i will say me saying i dislike a character in this show is a good thing because it means they're doing their job that was uh, it was phenomenal i honestly was on tender hooks throughout the whole thing and it's really heightened on what they could do to everyone like, what is going to happen to people and what what does the citizens do? Do they fight back? Because they don't have they don't have the police to protect them. The police, look what they're doing. You can't turn to them. Like it's it's highlighting. Well, actually, it didn't highlight the police, did it? It highlighted these other people. So will they have trust in the police? Like it's just it's just watching them shrink the country down into their control was so powerful.